Dr. Lou Sella here, and Army's 2020 offense right now has led him to a 7-2 and season to date, which is pretty good. <clears throat> They've run 605 plays in nine games. They're averaging 67 plays per game. And what they're doing is the following. They're running triple option 10% of the time, about seven plays per game. They're running the dive 19% of the time. The zone dive is 19% of their offense, 13 plays per game. The zone option, all the variations, most of the time they're running a kickout play where the B-back is kicking out number two. Sometimes they tag a little bit off it, but the zone option with all the variations is 22% of Army's offense, 15 plays per game. Midlane triple option has been run 43 times at 7% of the offense, 4.7 plays per game. Now, the down, which so many coaches love the down. It's also referred to as belly G. They've run it 30 times, which is more than usually they've run it in the past. It's 5% of the offense and it's 3.33 plays per game. Now, if you look at the zone belly, which really they run it against uh, a B-gap void against a shade 5, a 2i, and a 5, they've run that 16 times. So if you take the belly concept combined, it's about 8% of the Army offense, which makes it pretty statistically effective. Triple pass, they don't throw the ball much. I mean, 26 times in 9 games. Right around three plays per game, it's 4% of the offense. Other concepts they've run, they're not even running trap twice a game. A couple of years ago, they were running trap almost four times a game. Now it's less than, a little under two times a game. The rocket toss has been a dying play for years. It's just too hard to get the ball outside of number two. They've run it 19 times in nine games. The counter keep has been run 12 times. Coaches love counter plays. They love misdirection because... What I've learned over the years doing this as a business, a lot of triple option coaches, they're, they're wing T guys at heart. They, they'll run the triple. If it doesn't work, they just want to run wing T stuff. And they want to use misdirection. The counter key, a lot of times people call it the quarterback GT play. Well, they've run it a whopping 12 times in nine games. So before you put your entire career on the counter key, it's not a statistically effective play. If they ran it, 40, 50 times, a little different story. I've already talked about the zone belly power. You know, it, power's picked up. I mean, Air Force is running more power. Navy's run a little more power this year. Army's run some power. But really, the power play is still not a big play. However, I do think overall with Army, Navy, Air Force, this is a trend because... To sustain the health of their quarterbacks, this is going to start to grow. So be wary of that the rest of the season and into next season. But Army's offense, look, the bottom line is this. These three plays are run 35 times a game. So if you're a high school coach, you average 48 plays a game. That's a national high school average on offense is 48 plays a game. That's just about 75% of your offense. Running the dive. The zone option, which now is a kick-out play, and the triple option. And that's that. Coaches, you want to run Army, Navy, and Air Force's offense to the number, call me, 570-332-0265. Talk soon.